Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to share with you guys some New Year's cards, which were actually holiday cards that I never got around to crafting. So I've made New Year's cards with an Art Impressions and Heart Hampton Arts collab stamp and die set. I don't know the name of it, but it's basically snowmen and some stamps uh, and a die that works for both of the snowman stamps. And so I'm just going to use my stamping tool to stamp out these two snow people. I've made one of them into a little bit more of a feminine snow person and one of them kept more masculine. Just by the way, I'm going to color it up and how I am uh, adding a little bit of details with eyelashes later. But I'm using some oranges for the carrot nose and the little stars on the scarf of the female snow person. And I'm using some cool gray tones, some really pale ones, the C00, C1, and C3, I believe, um, to color up the snow part of the snow people. I'm just coloring in the sides of the faces, underneath the coat, where their little hands would be showing. Uh, you could also color those hands up like they were dressed in mittens. Uh, but I'm just adding some darker shades. I actually don't end up using the C3 for the snow people. I end up using that later on for some of the areas of the clothing. For the little girl, I also decided to add some rosy cheeks, and that's with an R30, and then blended out with the colorless blender. There's me adding some eyelashes to the girl, and that's done with a 0.1 point Copic Multiliner pen. I'm using a Copic Multiliner there so that it doesn't bleed when I use the Copic markers for coloring. So for the male snowman, I am using some more teal colors. This is actually one of my favorite color combinations for winter cards is this kind of aqua and red combination with white as a pop of brightness. So the male I'm coloring up mostly in this aqua uh, family of colors of Copic markers. All of the Copic colors that I'm using, I'm going to be listing in my blog post, which is linked in the description box below. But, um, you know, like with all of the materials that I use, to the extent I can, I link them all in the description box. So if you're interested in any of them, you can find them there. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of shading. These areas are relatively small and the images are pretty small, so there's not a bunch of blending, uh, but I wanna make sure where there are kind of crevices or shadowed areas, uh, I get in the darkest color. This is the red color combination here, and I am using an R22 for the lightest areas. Um, and I'm not worried too much about getting every little nook and cranny with this light base color because I'm going to add darker colors, uh, darker shades of this red for the kind of edges of the hat, the under part of the pom pom. Also, in, again, like in the nooks and crannies of the jacket, uh, where her arm would bend, where there'd be a cast shadow from the uh, scarf, where there'd be a cast shadow underneath her arms, where her jacket would get a shadow. And then I'm blending out with that mid-tone red, that R24. And that's just so that there aren't any harsh lines between the lightest R22 and the darkest R29. And that kind of trio of colors for Copic markers adds a really nice rounded 3D kind of look when you can get that shading in. And I know it's tricky when the areas are so small, but I'm not a super neat colorer and yet I can still get that um, 3D look. And there you just see me pushing back some of the red that I colored outside the lines. And then I decided that the ribbon on the package that she's carrying would also get the same red. I'm trying to keep the family of colors um, or all the colors that I'm using in these images pretty limited. Um, again, I'm using the darkest red for the candy cane stripes. So obviously this is more of a Christmas or holiday image, but I figure you're still eating Christmas candy in January, so <laughs> this is going to work for New Year's cards, at least as far as I go. Um, and here again, I'm just using the same three red colors to get a little bit of 3D effect on that little boy's scarf. Now for the package that the little girl is holding, I'm using the same lightest base color of that BG10, adding in the darkest shadowed areas with a BG13, and then blending out with the BG32. Um, 
Then for some festive sparkle, I decided for the boy's pom-pom and the cuff of his toque or a little hat, I'm going to use just glitter glue. And this will dry hard, uh, which will actually also help with the stability of these little snow people since I'm going to be adding them on with uh, wobbles. And I'll show you that later. But um, I think adding the sparkle adds a festive touch and it makes coloring those areas really simple. <laughs> I'm also using Ranger glossy accents to add shine to the noses of the two snow people, the little stars on her scarf and also on the candy cane. Then I decided, oh, I forgot to color in the scarf, the rest of the scarf of this little snow woman. Um, so I'm just using the C3 there. That's where I'm uh, finally adding the darkest cool gray that I'm going to use. It's really probably a mid-tone gray, but I wanted to add a little bit of contrast with the C00 and the C1 of the colors that I used for the snow people. So the scarf is going to read a little bit darker, but still almost white, kind of like a kind of neutral pale, pale gray with the red stripes of their scarves. I'm just adding in the shadowed areas underneath where the top of the scarf would um, get a little shadow from his head underneath where the scarf would roll under a little bit. Um, and I'm blending out with that mid-tone, the C1, and then the highlighted areas I would be doing with the C00. Now I'm going to re-emphasize the mittens there or the hands with the C1, I believe there. Now for the background for the card front, I decided I'm going to use a um, kind of a sky background that I'm blending on. And you can see I'm kind of starting off with the blending tool off of the card front. I'm using just a scrap piece of white paper for the background um, so that I don't get ink all over my crafting mat. But I'm just going back and forth blending and you see some, you know, lines that are forming there just because of the sponging blending tool that I'm using. But those actually really mellow out once the ink kind of dries. Um, and it's also going to get partly covered up with this white acrylic paint that I am going to splatter on with an old toothbrush. So you see me just splattering it on so that it has the effect of, you could say there are stars, or in this case, it's kind of going to be like a falling snow scene. Um, and you can see I'm just spritzing it on with my finger. And then for the foreground, I'm going to do uh, snowy hillsides and I'm using one of my most used die sets. It's a Lawn Fawn Stitch Hillside die set. And for the background, I'm going to use a uh, white cardstock. For the middle hill, I'm going to use a super fine glitter, silver glitter cardstock. And I'm just going to run in through different hills from this hills die set. And on the four foreground, I'm going to also use another um, piece of white cardstock. And I'm just kind of layering the different um, dies there to sh see how I am going to form the different hills and make sure that they're all going to show up. So that background layer you see with the white cardstock, the next layer with the glittered silver cardstock, and then the foreground with that white cardstock again so that you can really distinctly see the three layers. And um, I think off camera, I am going to be cutting off the excess. And then for the matting of this card front, I'm going to use more of that silver glitter cardstock on a red cardstock card base. And I think that'll add, you know, a lot of sparkle, some festive feelings, uh, which I think will go well with the um, you know, idea that this is a New Year's card. So um, off camera, I wrote on just with a Sharpie white marker, the 2022, and it wasn't showing up crisp enough. So that's why I'm using a extra fine Sharpie Navy marker to put those shadows in. And then for the wobbles for the snow people, I'm using this Inky Stampers wobble set and it comes in a pack of six and they're mini wobbles and they come with adhesive already on them. So you can just place them where you want them and place the image that you want on top of them. Um, and it's super, super easy. I've shown how you can make those DIY them, but I'll say making, getting them 
already made, it makes this all really much easier. For the card liner, I'm using another favorite Lawn Fawn stamp set. It's the Winter Scripty Sayings stamp. And I'm using the Happy New Year stamp from that set. And that's it for the card liner. Aren't these fun? It was super fun and easy to make. I actually made two of them, which you can see pictures of here. That's the one that I made off camera and that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and happy new year. Thanks for watching.